Quiet down and listen up. Tony is talking. Everybody, Tony Katz here. Thanks for watching this episode of Tony is Talking. I was lucky enough to be one of the speakers at the Restoring Honor event in Temecula, California. Congressman Tom Price was there, Dr. Gina Loudon, a fellow radio host, Nigel Innes from the Congress of Racial Equality uh, also spoke. A very, very good event. Got to meet a lot of people. But the big event was over in Washington, D.C. Glenn Beck, of course, putting on the Restoring Honor rally there at the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, some people, like Congresswoman Bachman, say a million people showed up. NBC said 300,000 to half a million. Glenn Beck himself joked that a thousand people showed up, according to media reports. So I don't know what the final number's going to be. I leave that to you uh, to decide. But there can be no question to the idea that people showed up in numbers to have this conversation about honor and to have this conversation about honor of our elected officials and honor of and for ourselves and what we hold near and dear for the country. But there still seems to be a tremendous amount of people who are saying they're on the opposite side. See, they want to make this political, but this was a conversation about honor. The opposite of honor is dishonor. How can there be another side? Well, I turn you to the words of Eleanor Holmes Norton. She's the delegate to Congress from Washington, D.C. And she said, let me find it here. The March on Washington Changed America. She's referring to Dr. Martin Luther King, who gave the I Have a Dream speech on August 28th uh, at the steps, of course, of the Lincoln Memorial. The March on Washington Changed America. Our country reached to overcome the low points of our racial history. Glenn Beck's march will change nothing. It wasn't a march, ma'am. It was a rally to get people together to talk about honor. And as Glenn saw it, bringing God into your life to restore that honor. Now, agree or disagree with that portion of it, what's wrong with the idea of discussing honor in America? Honestly, what's wrong with talking about honor in America? Honor amongst elected officials, honor amongst ourselves. Well, if you're somebody who subscribes to the race meme, then you can't have a conversation about honor because that takes away from your ability to have a conversation about race and that all things done by people who disagree with you are racist. The Reverend Al Sharpton put together a march. And by the way, I am no fan of the Reverend Al Sharpton. You may go from track suits to Armani suits, but he's still the guy who lied about Tawana Brawley. He's still that horrible race hustler. But he put together this rally to honor Martin Luther King, and there were people who attended that rally, just like uh, Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton. And one of those people's names is Joyce White. And Joyce White said at the event that if we hadn't elected a black president, do you think they would be doing this today? I I I'm sorry, it's, it's, an, it's an event about honor. What are you talking about? Nobody brought up race. Nobody has discussed race at all. Yet, here you are, once again, talking about race. You know, we discuss this on the show all the time, that the right is colorblind. They don't see color. They want to know about character. They want to know about what you have to offer. They want to know what you think. They want to know what you believe. They want to know how you act as a person. But the left is colorblinded. All they can see is color. No other conversation could possibly be happening because everything has to be seen through the prism of color. It's time to put an end to this meme, to this racist racism meme. You've lost the conversation because what you're saying isn't true and America knows that it isn't true. And every time you claim it on something like a restoring honor rally put forth by Glenn Beck, you diminish the real cases of racism that may be happening in America. If you want to get involved in the conversation, actually have a conversation. But every time you fall back on racism, you lose. And every time you say that somebody who disagrees with the president is a racist, you lose. You lose, you lose, you lose. Not only do you lose our respect, not only do you lose our vote, and you'll see that in November, but you lose your honor. And isn't that what this whole conversation was about to begin with? Listen to the Tony Caps Radio Spectacular Monday through Friday on the All Patriots Media Network. I'm
patriotmedia.com.